Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I'm going to be talking about Movie Cart. Um, now this is something that I've actually, I think this is the first time I've ever heard of this thing. Um, and it's it's not like it's brand new to the market. It has been, uh, it's been out for a few years now. Um, but somehow the this kind of slipped my uh, radar, went right under my radar. I know that I did a little bit of uh, looking online to see if anybody really covered it. And of course, Zero Page Homebrew, uh, a YouTube channel, they they covered it about three years ago, two, three years ago. Um, so I, I don't know, I guess it just kind of went over me. Anyways, I thought it would be fun to talk about it because maybe a lot of people haven't really seen this thing yet. Um, and I actually found it um, on Facebook, uh, Good Deal Games and Homebrew Heaven, Michael Thomason. Uh, he posted a link, a link about it, um, which is, uh, you know, that's where I saw it. And so I decided to, to read it, and I thought, this is actually pretty neat. Now, essentially what you're doing is you're watching a full movie on your using your Atari 2600. Um, and, of course, that's going to require some crazy hardware <laughs> to do that. Now, we, we would have never thought that back in, you know, the early 80s or when the Atari came out, that after, you know, it's it, it's time on the market, that we would probably hardly ever see this system again. So it is weird that, f like, almost 40 years after it, the Atari was a thing, that people are still doing things like this with it. Um, even finding new games. Uh, the Immortal John Hancock did a video yesterday um, talking about some new games that got posted, that got found and dumped. So... Um, you know, prototype games that, that never made it to the system due to the crash. But this is something entirely different. This is trying to find a different use for the Atari 2600, and that is making it allow you to watch movies. And of course, this concept is not new. Um, I mean, the, the idea of watching movies through a, a console, uh, if we go back to like the PlayStation days, when we were first realized that we could play DVDs on the thing, and uh, then, of course, there was the Blu-ray HD race uh, with the Xbox versus the uh, Sony PlayStation. And uh, so, yeah, this concept. And, of course, today with streaming services and all the other stuff, the, the technology is, is nothing new to us. But to, to think about something like a 40-year-old console that plays the most basic of games, if you can think about, um, this is just mind-boggling. So, anyways, yes, in the article... Uh, they do talk about uh, a little bit about the, the history of the Atari 2600, but it um, gets into the, the whole hardware behind it. Now, it does mention that you can you can buy this as a, a pre-assembled thing, or you can build it yourself. So it's, it's pretty much open source. Um, I believe it says so something down here, uh, that it is an open source project. So you, if you have the materials and you know how to do this type of thing, and you got the SD card and all that other stuff, you can put one together yourself. Otherwise, you can actually buy one. I think it's, uh, it was down here somewhere. Yeah, from the Tindy store for $24.99. But they are out of stock. <laughs> so it looks like your only option is to build it. Um, but anyways, yeah, you would you probably read, or put it into like a combat cartridge or something like that, a shell. Uh, probably fits right in there. Um, so you're not, you know... Just sticking this P this PCB board into your Atari, that, that would look pretty ugly. But anyways, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty neat. And uh, I don't know how practical this would be. I mean, it's, it's very novelty in my book. Um, just the fact that it can be done is what is impressive. Uh, but on the other hand, if you were going to sit there and try and watch a movie like this uh, for over an hour. I don't know. I don't know how you would uh, handle that. I mean, you do plug in a joystick to control uh, things. Like It looks like it has like the brightness settings and uh, the sound. And that was the thing that I was thinking about was, what about the sound? Because the sound chip on the Atari 2600, as we all know, isn't the greatest sound chip. Um, I mean, it's great for the games, like the games that have the beeps and the boops and all that stuff. But when it comes to something like this, I don't know if it's running off of a chip in here, or if it's running out of the actual Atari, how the sound actually is going to work. 
The other thing is you also have to do a little bit of converting of the movie file. Uh, so you're not just uh, taking the standard DVD rip and throwing it onto a cartridge. Um, so it says it's possible to load any film onto the movie card's SD card. Uh, load F mode created. So that's the uh, creator of this, Load F mode. And, and they have a YouTube channel. Um, they created a utility to convert the MP4s into custom MVC format. <laughs> One demonstration Lofo made was a classic movie, Westworld. So... Yeah, so you have to convert the movie. Looks like there's the uh, this is the application here. So you have to convert it to this, <laughs> so it it actually can be read through and processed, I guess, through the Atari 2600, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, the the Atari 2600 is used, it's it's made by lines and stuff. It's not it's not like a, a regular pixel thing like on a you know on the more advanced consoles that came out later. Um, but yeah, so there's a little bit more information too. But I also found uh, the video here. This is the load load F modes video um, showing some of the uh, some of the video footage. Hopefully, hopefully the audio is working. But yeah, you can you can hear you can hear that there's actually you know the sound is coming out and it's it's you know I I bet you it's not going to be the best sound in the world, but I mean, you can make that out. And you can see the imagery. It looks like you're watching like a, a really old grainy television, almost like back in the, the earlier days of television when they were black and white, only there's actually color in here. So, um, but it's, it's, I guess, using a, a color palette that's not the best. I mean, it does, I, I don't know, looks a little uh, orangey, ready. I don't know if that's how the movie is supposed to look. I don't think so, but yeah. I, you have to give it some give here. I mean, this is a, an Atari 2600 we're talking about um, running this. So, but yeah, I just thought it would be interesting to talk about this. You know, it's it never hit my radar. I was not familiar with it. And it's it's just so, one of those things where it's just fun to do. Um, like I said, I don't think everybody's going to sit around popping in a, uh, <laughs> a two-hour movie and sit there and watch something like that. Now... On the uh, Good Deal Games um, page, I, I made a comment saying, you know, maybe if maybe if there was a movie that was only made and available on this cartridge, you know, something like a special Atari movie or something uh, that you could only play on this cartridge on the Atari, that might get somebody to want to sit there and watch the whole thing. Other than that, I, I think it would just be more of a novelty thing. I think people would just be like, ooh, look at that. I'm watching a movie on an Atari, Atari 2600. And then after a while, just be like, oh, okay, that's enough of this. You know, kind of like if uh, I did a video not too long ago about a person who's trying to make the, the uh, PC game Mist on the Atari 2600. And, of course, the graphics are grainy as heck. And um, it's very hard to make out anything on the screen. Um... But the novelty there is that you're actually playing a game as complex as Myst on an Atari 2600. So that's that's what I was thinking, you know, like, this is more of a novelty thing. I can't see anybody really, really wanting to, uh, like I said, play a movie and sit through the whole thing. But it also makes you wonder what else this console can do. And with this technology, what else you can do with it? Um, I also noticed on their page... Um, load f modes page uh they did a bunch of like different things with it um i can't remember they would look like there was some yeah just some some experimenting on what it can be done there was another web uh, another youtuber who also did a, a a few videos on it and i think they were they were usually the old uh, one of the old video games um what was it called i forgot the name but yeah, just experimenting, and, and that's what really made me wonder what else can be done. Anyways, yeah, I just thought I would share this uh, for those who haven't seen it yet. Um, it's been around for a while. It's nothing new. This isn't news. I'm not trying to pass this off as news. But it's just an interesting thing that I, I don't think enough people have been covering it. And it'd be interesting to see where it can go from here. Anyways, let me know what you think of this. Um, would you sit there and watch this movie for, you know, for watch any movie... I could see maybe watching like a 20 minute short film, but a two hour movie, would you do it? I'd like to hear what you have to say. Anyways, hope you liked the video. 
Hope you subscribe. I'll leave a link to this website that I'm looking at so you can check it out. And you can also check out the, uh, the YouTube channel. Uh, it's actually in, in the website down here. Uh, right there, so you can actually check out some uh, information on the boards and all that other fun stuff. Anyways, hope you subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.